This makeup is the least summer makeup that I could come up with and I love it. Hi guys, my name is Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mini Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today, we're going to talk about books that I am not going to read. Alright, so I got this idea off of the beauty guru community where they like uh, do um, on hauls where they're like basically they go through books, not they don't go through books, they go through makeup that they're not gonna buy for one reason or another. And I thought, you know, I think this has been done before, I'm pretty sure this has been done before, but I wanted to go through books that I am definitely not going to read. And the fun part is, these are all book to favorite books um just a general disclaimer if some of these are your favorite books don't take it personally i just don't want to read them you know you don't want to read my books sometimes i'm cool with that so let's start with the i, I think like this is like the book that kind of consolidated booktube for me like like before there was a before and after this book and that is the Hunger Games trilogy, and now the prequel, which I've heard nothing but good things about. Yeah, okay, so, um, The Hunger Games. I read the first one. I did read the first one. And no, I was bored out of my mind reading those books. Here's the thing. I never got into YA books. They just were not for me. And again, I have a talk about that. It's just, and I found those books, I had already read Battle Royale, so I liked Battle Royale better. And at that time, I was an idiot, and I was like, She just ripped off Battle Royale. And honestly, now, as an, as an adult, I don't feel like reading about how teenagers bring down the government, which is funny because I, one of my favorite series is a dystopian t series about, but it's not about teenagers bringing down the government, it's about kids helping adults it's whatever um i just i have no no desire in my heart to read this dystopian series i i think it's actually of all of the ones out there it's pretty good but it's just not for me and i also i found katniss the most annoying character in the first book ever and the whole like I don't know, the whole thing with her and President Snow and everything. I just I just it wasn't my it wasn't my thing. So the Hunger Games. Um the other one is Divergent. Uh, I thought I was reading a parody of a book when I read Divergent. I'm sorry, I, I found it so badly written. Like I read The Uglies by Scott Westerfeld and I thought that was better. And if you've read The Uglies, yeah. I just have no interest. Again, it's a dystopian, which I don't mind dystopia. I actually like dystopian books because I like sci-fi. But it's just the whole, we are 16-year-olds and we're going to bring down the government. And and I don't want to read about 16-year-olds falling in love. And, and we've been through all of this. I just don't like that kind of stuff. And I actually think Divergent was such a, like, Harry Potter, we'll get to Harry Potter, and um, the Hunger Games ripoff, uh -huh, the ripping ripoff, I amuse myself, that I just couldn't do it, man. And, and, and is this the one, yeah, there's a love triangle, right? Is there a love triangle? I don't know. I, I don't want to. I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, the next one, Twilight. Uh, I, uh, Okay, how do I put this nicely? I was a lot older when Twilight came out. I was not interested in Twilight, but also the fact that people still are okay with Twilight and how blatantly racist it is and how like the tribe that is described in those books was severely harmed by the things that were written in that book. And people are just like, but the love story and I'm like but isn't this more important than that so I just have a real problem with Twilight I don't have a problem with Twilight because it's a love story for young girls like that's not an issue for me I think that 
we hate on everything young girls like but I don't hate on Twilight because young girls like it. I hate Twilight because it's racist as fuck. There you go. I'm not saying that if you read it, you're racist. I'm just saying that Twilight is racist and I think people are willing to ignore that for the love story. And I just think between racism and love story, I don't know. Also, the name Renesmee is in also, the name Renesme is an assault to naming all across the world. So, there's that. Okay, then I have general things, like anything by Cassandra Clare. And again, it's not because I think they're bad, it's because where the fuck do I even start? I don't like series, and this is just like an ongoing series of like 25 books and they're all bigger than the other and we follow the children of children of children and, and I just, I ain't got no time for that. No. Although, you know, if, if they had just stuck to like the first series, I might read them, but no. Okay, anything by Sarah J Mass. I just feel that Sarah J Mass writes for a certain kind of audience and that certain kind of audience does not include me as a person. So, I just don't want to read any of her books. Um, I can't even think of any of her books. I just don't. Harry Potter. I am not reading Harry Potter. Um, I am very happy. No, not happy because I don't want anybody to be a turf, but I'm very happy that she who must not be named was called out again, again for being a turf and uh, that now people are realizing that perhaps her books are filled with messages that are not that good but I only got to book I think I got to when they start to get big <laughs> I got to book four and I was like I'm just so over this shit like I didn't like it Harry is a bully Hermione is an okay character I, 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 I kind of like Hermione Ron is like your token funny guy that is just there to, oh, Deus Ex Machina something, we're so glad somebody knows how to play chess, even though he doesn't know how to do anything else, but he knows how to play chess, you know? It's all so, I mean, for me, it was so badly written, and it just, I also was older when I read them, so I have no nostalgia attached to it, and I just feel like it wasn't good. The only part that I liked about it was like the houses bit, but you know, that got ruined for me because fucking she who must not be named should just stay away from Twitter. Okay, anything by Marissa Meyer. I have tried. I tried. Cinder? I just, I couldn't. I could, I just, her writing style is like anti-Monica. Like, like, every time I read her sentences, I'm like, it's kind of like Philip K. Dick, who's also on this list, but in, within a, like a little asterisk, because I'm going to try again with Philip K. Dick, because Ramsey from Rajathon sold me on, I have to read through Android's Dream of Electric Sheep again. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear construction, but, you know, I live in a house, there's noises. So, well, I don't live in a house. I live in a tiny, tiny apartment. But anyway, so going back to Marissa Meyer. And then I read Renegades. And that is probably the worst book I've read this year. That is probably the worst book I've read this decade. It was so bad. Bad in, like, a bad way. So, no thank you. What do I have next? Anything by Alice Osman. We've been over my Alice Osman dislike. We've been, my cat is staring at the litter box. Are you gonna go in? Do we need to have a kitty litter box break? We'll see. But anything, we've been over my severe dislike of Alice Osman, and here are some more points as to why I dislike her as an author. Number one, she is a white woman from the research that I have done. Um, and yet she continuously writes uh, people of color, POCs, as main characters. And the way she writes them shows very little research in my mind. I also feel that she um, 
doesn't do research in general like her way of depicting mental illness or different kinds of sexuality or even just dynamics within french friend french french groups what are french groups you know just baguettes and berets that was very very stereotypical i'm sorry to all the french people but anyway she just doesn't do a good job of writing the minorities that she is trying to represent and she also does a really there's the cat in the litter box <laughs> we're back and we were talking about alice osman uh i found that the way she also writes adults in stories is actually really harmful because adults can't adult the, the role of adults in in children's lives is to be guides to be yes friends we we can be friends with kids but that's not our main role our main role is to make sure children are safe not to be their friends when it's not a time for us to be their friend when we have to be adults and show children what they're doing wrong then we have to be adults you know and um, I also think that the portrayal of mental illness that she does not suffer from all of the research that I've done at least in the case of um, eating disorders maybe she does I'm sorry uh, to Alice Hoffman if this is not something she wants to talk about but the research that I've done shows and the way she portrays it that this is just not something that she is a, like aware of how it really does work and also how she makes the boyfriend the hero because the boyfriend will notice that you have an eating disorder because they love you even though your friends are with you more than he is but as long as you have a boyfriend remember they can save you and I'm, I'm just we're gonna stop we're gonna stop because another one is Sadie um, I, I think it's by Courtney Summers I have zero interest in this book like there was a point where I thought that I would read it like I was like yeah I'm gonna read Sadie I'm gonna audiobook it just like everyone said and then I just don't care I read like the story sounds fun but I just don't care enough to read it like again it's a contemporary it's a YA have you noticed like a theme like I just don't really enjoy YA um yeah no I don't want to read Sadie We Were Liars by E E K Lockhart E L Lockhart it's one of those Anyway, um, I'm sorry, I just wrote the name of the book and I didn't write the author and because I don't own this book, it's because I'm not going to read them, I just don't have them here. I wanted to read this book, actually, um, and then I saw someone review it and I saw what it was about and I think that book is going to hit close to home in a way that would be detrimental to my mental health. So I think I decided to not read that book. I think the whole idea of... Excuse me, ma'am. I just spent all my days screaming at my cat. Um, of having put on a mask and pretend everything's okay when things are not okay. And having something horrible happen and a big secret and stuff like that. That just doesn't... It, it, I think it would hit too close to home. I think I would enjoy it. I, like I would enjoy the reading process because I th from what I've seen from this author I think his writing really resonates with me but I think it would be detrimental to my mental health if I read this book so that's not gonna happen um, I'm not gonna finish the Illuminate file series by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff because I loved the first book until the last three pages the last three pages were like, it's a YA book. I, I don't want to spoil it, but I was like, what? Like all of this because of this? L why couldn't it be more? Like why did it have to just be about two teenagers? Why couldn't it just be like, like it could have been so much more. It could have been this big political like 
space opera thing. No, it's just about two kids. And yeah, there are, I think there are, there, there, there are more conflicts, but it's just that the ending, like the surprise ending, like who was actually after them and who did this. And I'm like, really? You're going to take these two kids and make them like the whole point of a story that could be about corporations and how they treat humans like numbers and everything and it's just some stupid revenge story i just can't M girls mommy is filming never night by jay kristoff um mm, i've just heard here's what i think about never night never night is that book that is actually a ya book but that has enough sex and violence into it so that it can be thought of as an adult book and there's so many of those like we were liars is that it by ml real yeah that's another one of those it's like this is actually a YA book, but you just put a bunch of sex and drugs in it so that it would be non-YA. And also the whole, oh my god, they killed my family, so I'm gonna become an assassin to kill them story. I'm just over it. I'm so over it. Just get, like, I'm, I'm get, I don't know, get some therapy, girl. I don't, it, you know, don't become an assassin. And just the whole girl becomes assassin and i and i bet you i bet your ass they describe this girl as super skinny with like gaunt cheek and dark hair and very pale skin and if i'm right please comment down below and tell me because i know that i'm fucking right the last one on this list um i have another one is sai by neil schusterman I have zero interest in this book because I feel that instead of it being about this crazy dystopian world, it's just going to be a romance. I want more from my books. And I'm not saying that, it, that romance is a bad thing. I just, I'm not somebody that gravitates towards that. I, this is nothing. This is me. Well, when I did my makeup, okay, like, don't worry. I'm fine. I just don't care and again it's a ya dystopian like okay uh, i'm gonna put an asterisk on this one which is the six of crows by lee bardugo it just it's so overhyped and also i think i've already read a really good heist book which is i believe it's the magician king either the magician king or the magician's land one of those two is really a really good heist book with magic that makes sense because i've heard that the like lee bardugo world the magic doesn't make a lot of sense so no nah, i'm not interested all right the kiss quotient I, quote quotient quotient i can't say that word uh by helen huang I don't read rom romance contemporary books. Oh, of course I'm not reading anything by Rainbow Rao. Like, I don't even have to, right? Like, are is anybody at this point reading anything by Rainbow Rao? Oh, an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green. I don't support Hank or his brother, so I'm not reading that one. Everything I Never Told You by Celeste In. I tried to read Little Fires Everywhere. I couldn't get into it. Anything contemporary is just not my thing, so I just don't like contemporary stuff. I don't like things set in the real world. I like myself some, you know, at least a bit of magic, some sci-fi thrown in there. So yeah, um, and the last one, and I think the one I'm going to get most hate for is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I don't want to read this book. Oh, I have one, and Jesse's gonna love this one. I'm not reading The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. <laughs> I want to read stuff by Holly Black, but like, really, The Cruel Prince, it sounds so cliche and so ridiculous and so 
dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. Again, the book, not you. Like, if you like it, I'm not calling you ridiculous or dumb or anything. But I just feel the book sounds so like, oh, we're half fae and the other fae girls laugh at me and there's this mean king. But then in the end, he's actually not so mean and we fall in love and it's like no girl i'm not into that so yeah um these are the books that that i don't think i'm i'm, I'm looking to see if there's anything else because um i mean some of these are pretty old uh the host i'm not gonna read i'm not gonna me oh me before you but again i said i don't read romance contemporary so there's a bunch of them but these are like the ones that are more like pop in right now and i'm also might add the miss born trilogy to that because i just don't feel like reading the miss born trilogy right now but i might read it later so we'll see we'll see what happens with that but anyway this is the video of shit that i'm not gonna read <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed it <laughs> but anyway um yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Please don't take anything personal. It's not personal. It's about the books. It's not about you. Without any further ado, uh, I bid you adieu with a reminder that I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's come hell, high water, or rain. I don't know if that's how you say that, but yeah. I bid you adieu, and I will see you in another galaxy. Far, far away. Far from my cats, which have made filming this video just fucking impossible. Bye, guys. <laughs>